Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to Buster's Corner. I'm oh, Buster. Look at a good boy. So today in the shop we're going to build a five-foot redwood planter box. Uh, we're going to use the six-foot redwood uh, fence boards for this project. We have three boards, one, two, three, and we're going to make some ends on it, a middle. We're going to put some holes in the middle for drainage. And on the bottom we're going to put a couple of runners down here. Uh, pretty easy project. Once you get up and running, you can probably do it in about a half an hour. It's really easy. All right, let's go cut some wood. Okay, so we're going to cut all three boards uh, exactly at five feet, you know, plus or minus a sixteenth of an inch. And here we go. Okay, so I've got two of the end pieces, the dog-eared end. And we're going to cut these down to six and seven eighths, and these will be our ends, end caps on the on the box. Here we go. One of these will be the centerpiece. We're going to save that, and the other two pieces are on the floor. Uh, at the last spare piece, I need to cut two pieces, and I'm going to cut them two inches wide, and that will support the bottom. So just two pieces of that. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to keep the one of the tops for the middle section, and now the next step is to drill some holes, pre-drill them, so we don't split the wood. In this phase, we're going to lay out the holes. Now the first thing I want you to do though, is out of your three boards, pick the sides that you like the best. Okay? Um, some people like the knots, which my girlfriend does, Julie. She likes the knots on it, she likes the grain. So pick the ones that are going to be your outside. The ugly stuff, if they've got brown marks in them, dirt marks, just from the lumber yard, put those on the bottom. Buster, knock it off. Okay, so that's the deal. So now, measurements. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to lay out the holes across the bottom and the holes across the ends. Okay, so across the bottom, I'm going to come in two inches and then I'm going to start and I'm going to go to 15 inches. And then I'm going to go to 30, 45, and two inches from the other side. Okay, that's your measure across that way. Going up, check your wood. A lot of times the wood comes in different thicknesses. Mine, I'm going to do mine at uh, Five sixteenths up. So, where my pencil go? I got it. Found it. So I mark them this way, and I'm gonna go through and describe a line with my with my square. Okay. Up. And that gives me my holes there. Across on two boards. Okay. Uh, the right side, the left side. The end cap here. Okay. And this is is not exact science. Okay. So what I did, I came up inch and a half, and I came up, mine says this is five and a half, I go to six, six and a half. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go one and a half up, line, six and a half up, line, okay, uh, and mark those. Without even the two screws here, okay. The only thing about this one, and let's see from here to here, inch and a half, inch and an eighth, I'm an inch and an eighth in. If you mess this one up though, you're going to put the screw, you're going to miss the, the board on the other side. So that one's kind of critical. Other than that, do that to the two boards, uh, and then we're going to we're going to mark the bottom. Okay, so for the bottom board, um, we're just going to split this pretty much in half, 18 inches from both sides, and then give you something right in the middle, which is about four and a quarter. Just give me a mark right there. Those are going to be an inch and a half hole saw uh, all the way through, and then we're going to cover them with some mesh uh, netting uh, to slow down the drip. Those are your drain holes. Okay, I'm just about ready. I'm going to go to the drill the, press. Uh, number eight, small. inch and five eighths inch deck mate deck screws. Um, this will prevent rusting and bleeding. If you use a, a metal a screw, it will bleed down and you, and you got stains. So we're going to use that. What I said in the drill press is I have a countersink preset to a drill with a drill. Uh, you can buy these over to Home Depot, Lowe's, or Supply. Uh, so we're going to zip a bunch of holes right here, and then the bottom drain holes. We'll drill later after assembly. So we're going to do the small ones for now. Here we go. And I'm going to take. There's. 
bottom. Here's my side. And you can do this any way you want. You probably got clamps and all that kind of fancy stuff. But that's this is what I've got I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that right there. This one here. This one here. This sits up on top of those. There you go. I'm gonna slowly line everything up where it needs to be. Square that up. Square that up. Hey Buster, what you doing, buddy? Okay, there we go. Screws. We got a box of them. Here we go. So there's one side. We're going to flip it like this. Now these will go inside because the way I made these, these go to the inside like that, and it'll support the other side. against that and that's how far I space them in. Okay. We'll put that right there. Like that. And we're gonna shoot some screws into here. Actually if the holes are pre-drilled, you don't need a spacer anyway. That could make it easier. There we go. Spacer. There, just like that, and shoot it. I'm using an uh, inch and a half uh, hole saw for the bottom holes. This is a uh, patio screen netting. You can get the hardware store, they have a patch kit, uh, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, if you make a lot of them by the roll. And I just take a staple gun, I staple about three spots around it to keep the dirt from sucking out, but the water will drain. So the center post measures strength, and we should have done this earlier, and I didn't, but here we go. We're gonna make a mark, two and a half inch, two and a half feet up, is right there at my 30. You don't want there. I'm going to go up this way two inches. Okay, I'm two by 30. I'm going to pre drill my hole, which I should have done over there and I didn't. Okay, same thing on the other side. Now make sure you measure from the same end when you do that. Don't go to the other side if you mess things up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Put your board in the center. Let me have two screws. Right there. And right there. Okay. Line that up right there, like so. So we've got our drain hole, we got our center, we got our ends. We have one part left, and that is are two feet. Okay. Now, for the feet, I'm going to use inch and a quarter, and all I have is the uh, drywall screws. I'm going to use those. About the middle, some where my fingers. Investment there. I'm going to do the other side the same way. About a foot in or so. Feel that I get it centered. Centered. Okay. I am going to take my Pre drill though. I'm just going to shoot a couple of pilot holes there real quick. Okay, just a zip, and a zip, right about there, and right about there. That's good. Almost done. Okay, 
four screws. Settings is good. Voila. There's our footing. Okay. All right, that's it from uh, uh, Buster's Corner. I'm Bob. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, please subscribe or like our videos. We're going to post some more um, as we get them. I've got the two foot and the three foot planter boxes coming very soon and some more projects. Thank you very much.